Good morning. It's Friday, October 27th, 2023, camping up at the Monongahela National Forest in Canaan Heights and Canaan Loop Road. Last full day in West Virginia, because i got to really start heading back tomorrow, just because it's such a long trip. I, I've been looking at possibly driving back in one day, but that's eight hours plus driving and then plus breaks. So, you know, that would mean if I left at eight in the morning... By the time you stop for lunch and fuel and everything else, and any side trips, that would be like 6 o'clock at night. And that's just too late to get back, especially on a Sunday. And I kind of want to, you know, part of the trip going back and forth is to, uh, you know, take take little side trips when you see interesting things. So I want to split it in half. So I'm probably going to go up to uh, Ath's Run and, um, you know, maybe do some of the Pine Creek Gorge on Sunday. Tomorrow I'm thinking about doing, checking out the Paw Paw Tunnel. And, you know, more of the Chesapeake and Ohio Trail. I actually thought a little bit about stuff camping overnight at the campground there at Paw Paw. I don't know. The thing about it is, is that uh, even Paw Paw is a good distance back to Albany. It might still be a seven-hour drive versus an eight-hour drive, even though you're a fair bit farther east. And uh, you probably could take 81 all the way north from there. But flip side, I don't know if I want to take 81 because, uh, you know, it's a lot busier. It goes through Harrisburg and... and Wilkes-Barre and Scranton and uh, it's a lot of urban driving and I just don't really want to do that. I'd much rather take 99 which is pretty quiet especially as soon as you get north of um, Altoona there really is nothing for miles and miles. A little bit of traffic around State College but usually isn't too too bad. But yeah it's uh, great here in the Mountain Laurel. I don't know if I'll do a video tomorrow. I plan to take the tent down tonight because we might have rain showers by morning. Uh, it's kind of a great day today. But it's been fun. Uh, yesterday I rode 27 miles. Well, actually it was about 24 miles and I, ha I hauled the bike up this bike trail called the Lime Rock uh, Trail. It's actually not a bike trail, it's a hiking trail. And I was hauling the bike over, uh, you know, um, like rock ledges and waterfalls and stuff. Not a good good choice. But I rode down through the uh, Black River Gorge on the old on the old rail grade. Which is sort of a trail, but not. It's, it's definitely very bikeable, though. And then I rode up along the canyon road from uh, Douglas up to the Olin Fire Tower. And, uh, yeah, that was great. I've oiled up the chain this morning. The bike's covered with mud from all the... The canyon road, Jeep road, was so rough and uh, muddy and uh, just kind of a mess. And I was running late, so I was kind of, you know, trying to fly down it because... You know, it was 6.20 by the time I got back to my truck, and sun sunset at 6.28, I guess. So I know there's still some dusk, you know, I was really pushing the time. I mean, a half hour from then, it was pretty dark. Um, I actually wanted to get some dinner in town, but I was so muddy and smelled from the uh, the, the swamp ponds, and, you know, from the puddles and stuff, and the sweat. I said, eh, I probably shouldn't go sit uh, to a sit-down restaurant, so I ended up getting some chicken, and... Uh, I had lots of vegetables and rice and stuff. Actually, it's couscous I cooked up. Made a nice, delicious dinner. But yeah, I'm going to miss the mountain laurel and the rhododendron, which I guess is actually, you know, giant laurel or rhododendron. I like giant laurel because it's easier spelled than rhododendron lol. But yeah, it's been great. Uh, time goes by so quickly, though. I mean, the one good thing is we had the nicest weather in the first half of the week, so now it's like, yeah, if Saturday we get rain showers, I'll be driving a lot of the day. I'm hoping the rain holds off till mostly Sunday and later on Sunday because if I go up to the Pine Creek Rail Gorge, um, you know, I want to be able to ride, you know, to like, ideally to like two, maybe three, and then make that final haul back from Wellsboro to uh, Albany, New York. But we'll see. But yeah, it's been good. It's been a great trip. And I like having this one campsite down here in the, National forest and stay in the general area, not spending all the time driving everywhere. So I don't really like, especially my big jacked up truck going to those narrow, steep uh, West Virginia mountain passes. And uh, I just kind of like being able to be relaxed, have my hammock when I get back, and every night dog you know, camp's all set up, ready to go. I, you know, I always make sure I've got a lot of good firewood ready to go, and uh, you know, have a nice meal, and then. Although I shouldn't go to bed fairly early because I'm just so used to getting up early. Although I've kind of fallen back into a, uh, more of a lackadaisical, not getting up quite so early thing because uh, just because the mornings are so dark here in West Virginia. I mean, sunrise at 7.40, 7.41 or 7.42, I think, this morning, um, just because you're so much farther west than Albany. Although the days are a little longer than uh, 
than Albany because we're farther south. But yeah, it's been beautiful. It's been a great trip. Uh, you see everyone's over, but I have a lot of pictures. I haven't uploaded most of them. I did some to Facebook, but a lot haven't been just because it's been cell service. It's kind of spotty here. But yeah, we're at five minutes, so I'll probably end this video. I have a lot of other videos to upload too. And it's been a great trip, so everyone have fun, and I'll probably touch back at some point.